y'all, welcome back to my Chanel. What's the opposite of Lester? It's Morster. No, not good? All right, let's restart. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a week since I've last seen you guys, so I am currently back. If you notice that there is a slight upgrade to the camera, it's because my old phone that I was using to record broke. So I did have to buy a new phone and hopefully as a result, you will be able to see some improvements in the video quality. I just wanted to take you guys out on a very gloomy day here in Hong Kong. So it's just been raining the whole week and pretty much will also continue to rain for the next week or so so while i got a little pocket of my day here where it is drizzling so i'm not able to stand outside i'm currently on a bridge it is where i am going to sketch i've got my new sketchbook with me so i am excited to use that as well the scene that i am thinking of sketching is i wanted to capture these flowers and the reason for that is because i noticed with all the downpour currently a lot of the flowers that have grown around this sort of park has been, I'm guessing, washed away uh, because it's just been like heavy torrential rain. So I wanted to catch these bits before maybe when summer comes back and these flowers start to bloom again. So my tools of the trade for today are this. This is my new Moleskin art collection journal that I have unwrapped really quickly in my last video. This is my art toolkit that I just spritzed down with some water. I am looking to do some softer edges. Okay, I have a pencil here, so maybe we'll be using this to sketch. This may be TMI, but the mosquito bites have started, so I will need to finish up real quick. I also wanted to share my setup. So this is my new camera, if it will focus on it. I am holding it up on a tripod, so hopefully when I hold my sketchbook down here, to the camera it will have a stable surface let's try that actually here sketchbook camera and then hopefully it'll record everything stably it is becky from the future and we are starting off this sketch with a very light i would almost say too light pencil drawing and i think i just need to make sure that i press down harder on the page next time in order for it to really pop on camera but what I'm doing here is I'm just sketching really quickly the shape on the left. So I do have an inkling of what the background would be and this would be elements that are on the back as well on the right side. But I just really want to establish the architecture on the left for me to base off on when I'm adding in the greens and the trees and also the flowers at the end. I already kind of know what the game plan is here so I just wanted to first wet the page with clear water before dropping in some grays in the background so this would be the buildings the sky the road and I just wanted everything to blend together and because I found a little bit of gray I decided to drop that in as well in the bridge or the architecture up front so a time-saving tip is to always try and include the same color in as many places as possible. This also somewhat harmonizes your picture a little bit because you have the same colors plopped in in different areas of the page. But I do know that that is not possible and I personally always mix in a new color every time anyway. Especially in this case where I'm trying to blend in some new colors into the wet background.
over here I am starting to plop in the green so I do start off always especially with watercolor with an extremely light wash and the reason for this is because with watercolor you can always go darker and it's a bit harder for you to go lighter and I know that I do have that white gouache or that very opaque white watercolor over there but what I found out from experience is that no matter how much white I put in it doesn't compensate for the white of the paper and I wanted to get this bright green first to preserve the highlights that are going to be visible at the very top so I'm just going to try my best to keep those areas untouched and also another thing that I discovered with adding white is that somehow it makes the color mix darker and I don't know why that is maybe Maybe because there's just an additional pigment that's added to it maybe there's more water but really I just don't find it to be the white that I want it to be So I'm just popping in the elements bit by bit. I just ran away quickly to grab a Kleenex because I have a bad habit of not cleaning my brushes in between color washes and my usual justification for that is that I really like um, even though it's a color is muddy, I just do think that it brings a sort of color harmony to it. But there has been times where not having the right color does hurt me and I end up overcompensating with say if I wanted to make a purple and all I had was a green so I had to add an insane amount of red and blue in order to create that purple. And even though I do get a nice color at the end, I do end up making a lot of unnecessary purple that I won't necessarily figure out where to use in the rest of my sketch. So in order to save time, I just grab a Kleenex. This is a bit of the fun bit. I'm trying to add the construction cranes in the background. I know it probably is not the most scenic sort of view to have these cranes in the background, but there is a lot of construction that's going around in this area lately. I think people have taken COVID as a good excuse to get on with their construction. And I just wanted to add that in in my sketch to also remember that construction is such a huge part of my daily life here in Hong Kong. Even though this was a gloomy afternoon, it was raining, but the construction was still going strong. Now that I have all the basic colors laid in, I could see that there are some parts that are not dark enough, such as the gray of the building structure right in front of me. So I'm just trying to glaze over that with some additional shades, give it a little bit of texture, a little bit of blue and warm temperature to it because of the way that the light is hitting the building. And I'm also building up the dimensions of the foreground elements, such as the trees. So I try to put a little bit of darker colors on the bottom. It just makes the shapes pop out a little bit more. I'm trying to add a yellow on top but as you can see it's not coming off as bright and the reason for that is because the brightest bright is going to be the white of your paper so anything on top of it is going to be less bright. So I should have preserved that if I wanted it to but honestly preserving is not a trait that comes with sketching in 10 minutes 
Or maybe it doesn't, I'm just not talented enough yet or skilled enough yet to do this. I would think that actually gouache might work better for a quick sketch like this, but I do not have it at the moment, so we are sticking with watercolors for now. This is a good reminder for me to maybe switch to gouache sometime soon. Lastly, I just wanted to add the highlights of the flowers and with this I'm using a um, very bright gouache with a mix of yellow, both warm and cool. that same mix, I wanted to build that into a bright red and using the opera pink to make it a little bit more opaque to put in some splotches of red flowers in the background because I could see them popping up a little bit in my peripheral view and I wanted to highlight that. Adding in a couple more extra details such as the trunks of the trees, the stems and also the bus windows and we're done. Alright, that is going to be it from me today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little sketch. It was a simple flower scene and I think I will try to do more of these in the future. I'm really starting to get my groove back right after resting post plan April and we're just gonna keep sketching Hong Kong throughout the summer which is going to be quite a challenge because it's getting pretty warm here and I need to figure out how to get rid of these like mosquito bites because even though I'm already in what I thought was my ideal attire, turns out I am still getting bitten. Anyways, hope you guys take care and happy sketching. Bye!